Earlier in the year, I transformed this much-loved family games room with a splash of paint and some furniture hacks. And the homeowners had this old table here that they didn't want anymore, so I hacked that too. It was once a dining table. You'd never know it because now it's a very chic sideboard that works really beautifully in this room. And I did promise you I would show you how to make it, so I'm going to do that now. When I said I had a hack for this table, I literally meant I'm going to hack it apart. Hey, Scotty, can you give me a what hand? What can I do? Yep, I certainly can. Well, this is the old table from the room. It's pretty boring as it is, and what I'd like to do is extend it out. So, I'm thinking, can we cut this middle section out here? OK. Flip the ends around, and then put a new piece on the top. Or I can cut it straight down the middle here and we're finished. No, we could do that, but we want it to look a little bit more unique and if, have a few, you know, design features, like being able to see the legs and have a nice front on it. Sounds painful, but we'll do it. <laughs> we'll get there. Thank you. You've done a great job trimming that up for us. You're welcome. Thank you. So the next step is just putting these rails in, and what that will do is brace it, but also somewhere for us to attach it to the wall. So our two end pieces are now finished. And I'm adding in this little shelf in the centre section as a little bit of extra storage. The homeowners can use it for records, but you could also use it for magazines or books. And then this is the off cup from before that we're just popping in the centre. Just like that. And now it's really starting to come together. To cover over the joins, I'm using a thin 6mm piece of MDF that Scotty has here and I'm going to set it back a little bit so we still have a beautiful edge profile and then a coat of paint and it'll all be seamless. As always, don't skip the undercoat. We've got a couple of different materials here and the undercoat will just ensure that our end result is the perfect finish. For the top coat, I'm using Aquanamel Low Gloss and again in Lexicon Quarter Strength because this table is going to be up against that back wall and having it in the same colour means it's going to disappear, making the room seem a lot bigger. This really was a pretty clever hack, even if I do say so myself, for an unwanted piece of furniture. It's now a fabulous credenza that I think the family will get a lot of use from. It's much longer, there's this storage space underneath and you can see these beautiful legs. So it's now going to become a feature in the room. That sunrise, love.